Hello and welcome to Shark Jets. I'm Skid Viss. In this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to install VRIF on Unity 2021.17 Plus. But before we do, please make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so here we are in a new project using 2020.1.17. First thing we want to do is go into the package manager and install VRIF. It'll be listed under your assets. So you come in here, search framework, and it should be in the list. And then you import that, install that, whatever you need to do. Here it'll ask you to import, say yes. Here it'll say it needs dependencies. You can skip that, collapse all of these. And I don't usually install the project settings because it sometimes affects projects that you're already working on. If it's a brand new project, you can leave that in there, but I usually uncheck it. Okay, now if you don't import the settings, you'll get a bunch of errors about the input system. So just go ahead and install the Unity input system. And those will all go away. When you install the input system, it will ask you if you want to use the new input system or the old input system or both. Uh, so you want to say no because you want to use the old input system because that's what VRIF is currently using. So we'll say no to that. And you can see the errors go away. Before we move on though, we do probably want to go into project settings, player, and change our input system from the old system to both. That way you can use both of them. Doing this will ask you to restart. Okay, now a couple other things. If you're gonna be building for the quest, you wanna make sure that you set your uh, Android version to, to version 23, API level 23, Android 6 or above. I usually just pick that one. Set your scripting backend to IL2CPP. Set your build to 64-bit. And that should get you started on Android development. Um, you'll also uh, want to go into project settings, XR plugin management, install the plugin manager. And then make sure to select Oculus in the Windows and in the Android sections. And now you can actually go into the BNG framework, go to the demo scenes, load up the XR demo. And if you have Oculus Link working, you should be able to pop on the headset and test it. And as you can see, my hands are working. I can teleport around or move around and pick up these fancy little guns, and throw them, and there's a little copy of me over there. Uh, one thing you will want to make sure of, if you create your own scene, so let's just go ahead and go back into our scene, which should be empty. If you want to bring in the rig, just do a search for the rig. You can find this XR rig here, and there's a couple other ones there too. And I'll bring in a 3D plane just so we can stand on it. And uh, I will pop him up off the ground just to be safe. And the main thing you want to look at is your tracking origin for the rig. Um, in this version, it's set to device, but it should probably be set to floor so that you're looking at the right place when you start up the game. And so I'll just go ahead and start this up again. And as you can see, the hands are working here too. And I can move around and fall to my death. Maybe. Wee. 
And then of course, if you're gonna build to the device itself, you go into the build settings, switch it over to Android. Uh, and then uh, once it's done recompiling all your assets, you can build it and uh, put in your scene and then build it. And it should be able to be installed on your device. Thanks again for watching. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm still Skidvis. Peace out.